In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying radicals of mixed index, or different indexes, with numbers or coefficients underneath the radical. We know that we need to get a common index on both of these by multiplying by something to build up these indexes. But the trick might be what to do with the 4 and the 8, because they don't have exponents to work with. We could use the invisible exponents of 1 on both, but that can make numbers huge and very difficult to simplify. So instead, we'll find it much more useful to first factor the 4 and the 8 to its prime factorization. 4 is 2 times 2, so this can be rewritten as the cube root of 2 squared x squared y. The 8 factors to 4 times 2, and the 4 to 2 times 2. So under the 4th root, we've got 2 to the 3rd power, x, y to the 3rd power. Now we can look and see a common index on both of these, and use the exponents we have just found on the 2's. The common index we see is 12, between 4 and 3. And to get a common index, we multiply the first index by 4, and the second index by 3. And as we do, we also multiply the exponents underneath the radical by the same thing. So for the 2, 2 times 4 is 8. And for the x, 2 times 4 is 8 again. And for the y's, 1 times 4 is 4. On the second radical, th on the 2, 3 times 3 is 9. On the x, 1 times 3 is 3, and on the y, 3 times 3 is 9. We can now combine those factors together under the 12th root by adding exponents on each of the 2, x, and y. On the 2's, we add 8 plus 9, giving us 2 to the 17th power. On the x's, we add 8 plus 3, to get x to the 11th power. On the y's, we add 4 plus 9 to get y to the 13th power. We aren't quite done yet, though, because you might notice that some of these exponents are greater than the index of 12. This means we can pull some of the factors out of the radical by dividing the exponents by the index to see what comes out of the 12th root, and what remains inside the 12th root. 17 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 5. This means 1, 2 comes out, and 5, 2's remain inside the radical, or 2 to the 5th. For the x's, 11 divided by 12 is 0 remainder 11. 0 x's come out, all 11 remain inside the radical. For the y's, 13 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 1, bringing 1 y out of the radical, and leaving 1 y behind inside the radical. The only thing left to simplify at this point is actually evaluating the 2 to the 5th power, giving us our final answer, which is 12 y, or 2 y, times the 12th root of 2 to the 5th, which is 32, x to the 11th, y. We were able to multiply these radicals of mixed index together by finding a common index after we first factored the 4 and 8, which gave us some nicer numbers to work with where we could use our exponent properties.